don't eat my paperwork. It is Monday, excuse me, August 29th there. I was so excited that I spit. I'm robbing me. This is what's going on right now. Thousands of people, health news, health officials in New York are urging people to get vaccinated against polio if they're not, because it's been found in another upstate county. And it was announced the first case of polio in the United States in nearly a decade, an unvaccinated man from Rockland County. The latest samples have been linked to that same case. Its first step toward sending an astronaut back to the moon nearly 50 years after Apollo 17. So stick with us this morning as the countdown for the launch of Artemis 1 continues. Britney Spears is accusing her family of abuse during her 13-year conservatorship feel so moved to say Gosh, it's really sad and it's yeah. really compelling to hear from Brittany herself talk about what that time was like for her Robin that 13 year court ordered conservatorship and the clip is similar to what we heard from Brittany. Melissa thank you you're welcome a Duke University volleyball player says that she and other black teammates a big announcement when she got the video of the year award at the VMAs Big moments of our folks went to bed and did yeah. not see it. It was all about energy. It was about fashion. It was about energy and it was about live performances again, right? Seeing that come back to us. Lizzo brought the energy when she That's sparkled. how you do it. That's how you do it right there. Yeah. More is more. <laughs> well, Lisa, thank you so much. Well. Appreciate it. So two kitty cats. If you're under the age of 21 in New York State, did you know it is illegal for you to buy whipped cream in a can? The law is actually meant to keep teenagers from trying to use. Well, come on in the room here. Good morning. I'm Robin Mead, and it's great to be with you. I know it's painful on a Monday as the alarm clock rings, but um, let's take your mind off it and tell you what's going on in the headlines. At this hour, NASA crews are working to fix record setting rain and a rising river in Jackson, Mississippi is threatening to seep water into people's homes there a second time, mind you. So the state's Pearl River is expected to crest around 35 feet today. Nadia Romero reports that the communities facing the highest risk are at the same ones affected by the flooding two years ago. A guy fell from a cliff in California and survived. Now you can see the rescue team starting to pull him up here uh, on a safety. It happened Friday morning 